I just want to talk about if anyone is watching this and they have the prophetic gift of prophecy, but also if someone has prophesied to you and the Lord has already confirmed some promises to you. This message is for someone who already know about very specific promises that the Lord has for them. Do not lose sight of what matters. Let me say this again. Do not lose sight of what matters. One thing the Lord has been putting... I'm on, I'm on a fast right now. I finally ended tomorrow. I'm so hungry. But um, I took the Daniel fast. I started on like... What day I started? January 11th. So it's about to end soon. But um, please understand... That the Lord has been, he put putting heavy on my heart that I saw this video on social media and it was this old um, homeless man. He was talking about how everyone, he said, everyone got somewhere to go. Everyone's got somewhere to be. And when they get there, they're going to be sorry. They And he said, quote unquote, they're going to be like, dang, it was the journey. And that message has been so powerful on my heart. And it connects to um, a song. When I was in my wilderness season over the summer last year, in the summertime, the Lord said he couldn't, he talked to me through songs. And one song he talked to me through that encouraged me was The Climb by Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yes, it's childish, but he knew how to get the message to Salitra. So don't hate. But um, and yeah, that's how you pronounce my name, you guys. My name is not Celestre. <laughs> My name is not Celestre or Celeste. My name is Salitra, Salitra Jones. But um, in that song, she says, there's always going to be another mountain. I'm always going to want to make it move. Always going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm going to have to lose. It don't matter how fast I get there. It don't matter what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. And that song talk about faith. You gotta, gotta understand if God gave you a promise and you know it, you saw it in a vision. I mean, you saw it as real as you looking at this video or you got your confirmation or someone prophesied over you but you know about these promises only you you have to understand don't idolize the promise it's not all about the promise it's about the journey it truly is and it's about your climb it's about your climb and, and spiritual maturity. It's about your climb in closeness to Jesus. That's what it's about. You should be content whether you have that promise or not. Don't allow that promise to motivate your actions in everything you do. The promise is your reward, but who should be motivating you with everything you do? you do thank you holy spirit it's jesus everything you do should be the love of jesus putting that in your heart motivating you like crazy not the reward the promised land and the promises are your rewards do not get in confused guys that is not your motivator your motivator should be the your pure love for christ don't don't obsess, obsess over the promise. Don't obsess over when it come, when it's going to come. Because it's going to come. He can't lie. His word can't come void to him. So, like that homeless man said, like that Miley Cyrus song, it's the climb. It's your climb. It's the journey. Don't spend your life rushing, 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 rushing to get to the, to the end goal. 
and you didn't take pictures. You didn't love the people that you could have loved when you was passing through. You didn't serve the people you could have served while you was passing through when you was on the way there. It's about so much more than the, the reward. The reward is just the icing on the cake. Be happy while you intercede and pray for people. Be happy and grateful. Be grateful for today. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Ooh, I feel the Holy Spirit speaking to me. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank him for today. The now. Honor the now. Honor the now, please. You'll look up and your life flash before your eyes. And you spend years of your life obsessing over the promised land and you didn't keep your eyes on Jesus. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all your righteousness will be added to you. If you do, if you slip and start seeking that promise and, and not seeking the kingdom, not seeking Jesus, you ain't even going to get the promise. You're not even going to get there. Keep your eye on Jesus, please. And saying going to make it hard, but keep your eye on him. Wake up. When you wake up in the morning, don't even be talking about the promise. Hey, Jesus, what you want me to do today? What are we doing today? Come like that. Keep your heart posture. Keep your heart in the right posture. Because you're not getting to the promised land without the right postured heart. Because it'll destroy you. You'll, de you'll destroy the beautiful reward, and it'll destroy you at the same time. So, just... It's, um, remember that. It's the journey. It's the journey. It really is. 